Check this out. We found this in the attic. Throwback to child days. Ew, it's actually got hair in it. Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. Not sure if you can tell by my incredibly frizzy braids and the bags under my eyes, but I am absolutely exhausted. It is currently 4.30 in the afternoon and all I've been doing all day is sitting on the couch. I have not done anything productive in any way, shape, or form at all. That is not normal for me. So, we're gonna do something fun. I'm not sure if you can tell um, by the lighting in here, but like my eyes are so puffy right now. Like essentially, you can just see how they are like super purple underneath and a little bit baggy and like darker on, on the under eyelids and it's just like, they're not okay right now. So today we are doing a video for my expectations versus reality. Today we are doing a puffy eyes cucumber and rose mask. So basically what this mask does is it mimics what it, what it would be like if we were to just put cucumbers on our eyes, except because it's a mask instead of just cucumber pieces, it's really getting into the corners as well. I found this DIY from the blog Hello Glow. I'm gonna link them down below with, their, with a link to the DIY that we are going to be doing today. And um, yeah, that's about it. It's actually, the link actually shows two different eye masks, but we are just doing the first one today. So all I'm going to do now is get started. So how is it that this mask works per se? I actually did a little bit of research about both cucumbers and rose water because those are the only two ingredients and this is what I found. So for cucumber, it is filled with antioxidants as well as silica, I think that's what it's called. And the combination of the antioxidants and the silica can actually help very quickly reduce dark circles under your eyes. That's why you see a lot of people at spas have cucumbers on top of their eyes because it's supposed to be reducing the dark circles. There's also something called ascorbic acid in cucumbers, which is what kind of helps reduce redness. So I'm hoping that the cucumbers end up reducing some of the redness that's like right underneath my eyes, while the antioxidants and silica reduce the puffiness. So we'll see. So I couldn't find much on the science behind the rose water, but a lot of what I was finding was basically saying that rose water um, helps calm the skin and it reduces redness as well as hydrates. That's really it that I could find on rose water with my quick little brows. So that's about it. Um, we are going to start with making the DIY and then we're gonna try it out. So this mask is super duper easy. All we need is half a cucumber, one ounce of rose water, a blender, and some cotton rounds. So basically we just have to cut our cotton rounds into half moon shapes to make it like, um, you know, fit our eyes better. Um, and then the, in the instructions actually say that this is gonna make quite a few pairs, so this is really awesome. Um, we can then just kind of freeze the rest of our pairs and that'll be fantabulous. So, in the blender we had to puree the cucumber and rose water until liquefied. We transfer to a bowl and then soak the cotton rounds in the mixture, squeezing out excess and then re-soaking for optimal absorption. Then we're going to store the extra one soaked cotton rounds in a Ziploc bag and put them in the fr freezer so that we can continue to use them. I'm actually saving the insides because those look like those can cover your eyes, so I feel like I can find a really cool DIY that I can do that's more for like eyelid rather than under eye stuff. So for the most part, the DIY was actually very easy to make. I'm just right now waiting for it to freeze because we have to let them freeze and then I'm gonna thaw them for 10 minutes and throw those babies on our eyes. Our eyes, my eyes. Excuse me. All right, so the masks had been cooling and defrosting. This is what they look like now and we are going to place them on. It's just, oh, whoa, need a mirror. I need a mirror for this. We got this, guys. So it says to put them like as close to the eyelid as possible. I think this is as good as it's gonna get for me. Oh, oh gosh, every time I move my eye, it like pops up. Ooh, oh, it's like hard to blink. Oh gosh, that's like way too high up because every time I blink it like, it's not okay. Here we go. There we go. We are gonna leave these on for 10 to 15 minutes and then I will be back to just kind of talk about it, I guess. Yeah, oh, this is so weird. And we are back. So these have been on for a little bit over 15 minutes and it is so hard 
to blink and just do things in them. So I'm kind of excited to take them off. Ta-da! All right, wow, it feels weird. All right, so um, let's get a little zoom in now. I don't know, guys. I don't see anything too different, honestly. I still look a little poofy. But uh, they feel lighter, is that weird? I don't know, so I don't really think that they look any different, but then again, I can't really remember what I looked like half an hour ago, because I'm so tired. But um, yeah, this is what we got. I have a whole bunch of these. It was really fun. Like right now, I just feel kind of, I don't know how to explain it, like relief, stress reduced, something. I don't know, I do feel a little bit different. Uh, yeah. I feel like now when I blink, I just feel lighter. I'm not sure if it's because I had such heavy pads on my eyes or something else, but I do feel a little bit different. I don't feel like I look too different, but that's okay. The only challenge I really had with these is the way that they were cut. Anytime I would be looking down to do anything or blink or anything, it would just like make me want to twitch because they it was just like a little bit on the rough side. I don't really know how to explain it, but that's kind of like how I felt and stuff like that. But it was still very fun, it was still very relaxing. I still have a whole bunch of my freezers, so I'm just gonna keep doing them weekly, like once a week and just kind of see if it does end up changing anything. And if it does, I'll come back and talk about it. If it doesn't, oh well. It was still a really fun thing to do anyways and kind of relaxing, just like a little personal spa treatment, so it was okay. Um, so yeah, that's all that I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Feel free to like this video as well as comment down below. You tell me, what are your thoughts on cucumber masks? You know, back in the day, I couldn't put actual cucumbers on my eyes because it burned so much. Does that ever happen to any of you guys? Let me know in the comments. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel so you can continue getting updates on other videos that are to come. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys, and I will be seeing you later. Bye!